one time Hollywood was run by nothing but Christian scientists. I want to do a topic about the church I was raised in, Christian science, aliens, trains, love, you know, trying to find the right girl. And then I'm going to be doing songs on this show about everything I've been through and everything I like. I like it. It feels relatable. It feels real. Since I'm a Christian, I should try Plenty of Fish. And that means some wholesome Christian women. Do you want us to set up a Plenty of Fish account for you? Sure. And then I get it abducted by aliens and taken in a spa spacecraft. Jesus was originally black, and the Catholic Church made him white. Since you're the set designer, and I know the show's going to go on more than one season, I'd like to have pictures of my family and the set were up that are above me. And then I want to do a Space Age Mr. Rogers Neighborhood show where I go into outer space with my puppets. I want to wear something like what the spinners would sing in, a nice uh, thick shirt okay. and bell bottoms like the 70s. Yes, yeah, so you want that 70s. Yeah. Kind of this is an Omegan. That's an Omegan, yeah. I want the title of my show to be I Love David, and I'd like you to share that idea with, uh, I wrote I Love Dave. Yeah, I just noticed that. <laughs> it's okay. Do you want Do you want the show to be called I Love Dave, or do you want it to be I Love David? I Love David. Let me get another show okay. to do. Welcome to I Love David, where all are accepted and none are rejected. All races, all people, all sexes, all religions. The topic of this show is me, David Lieber Hart. I was born in Chicago, Illinois, April the 19th, 1957. My parents didn't believe in going to a doctor. They were Christian scientists, and I was home born right here. My uh, grandparents stayed on the second floor, and my mom and dad and sister stayed on the first floor. I am part German on both sides of my family, and on my dad's side, I'm related to Orville Wright and President Grant. My dad's name was Hellebus. He was a painter and artist like me, but he never taught me how to draw or paint. But my first drawing was when my mother took me on the Jackson Park L, which is now called the Green Line. In 1968, uh, my family moved to Park Forest, Illinois. Wow. Yeah, I grew up in this home from 1968 all the way until I went in the U.S. Navy in 1976. It looks like nobody lives here anymore. Wow, it's so sad. Wow. 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 It is really sad. But anyway, I had a beautiful vegetable garden right here, and I got abducted by a UFO in that corner. But more about that, on episode six. All right, I think I think we got your your history. Well, it doesn't end there. I'd like to say something else, which was strange. I'll never forget what it was like before I was born. I was in the middle of a table, and it was a group of aliens of all different races telling me where I was going to be born, and that I was going to be born an African American, and I would be born in a time where there's a lot of racism, and I would make it through that and I'd become a famous actor and musician. And I, when I, in the 70s, I, I fulfilled that dream and came out here. Then I was like thrown through a tunnel, a long, dark tunnel with a light at the end of it. And next thing I knew, I was born in this world, April the 19th, 1957.
My producers of this show want to learn more about my ancestry. And since I am German, on both sides of my family, my grandmother Schroeder made the best German food. I'm gonna to go to my favorite German restaurant, get my favorite German sandwich, just like Grandma Schroeder used to make. Yeah! I get it. I am hanging in there. Wow, there's so much good to choose from. My grandmother Schroeder used to make all these good dishes. You know, France used to be a part of Germany, and Germany used to be a part of France. It used to be one country. So I'll get the French baguette. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get. I think it's. Uh, blood is your favorite. Yeah, blood, blood, and I would like to get the German sausage and the Hungarian sausage. Pepper loaf would be good. And then the herb, herb bologna to spice it up. Would you like your favorite cheese sausage as well? Oh, yes. And then I like butter cheese. And look at the traditional German hat. Oh, I wish I could afford one of these. It's got the German colors right on there. Beer schinken for you. Okay, I'm gonna have, I may have this one. Mmm, yeah. I'm gonna have this one with that. Uh-huh. David has been coming mm -hmm. here for more than seven years, probably maybe even before me. You know, our boss, Tim Heidecker, he loves pretzels. He always talks about himself, about his life. I used to be married to a beautiful German lady named Bridget but she's history. She left me for Roberto I've had to really practice forgiving <laughs> and moving on. Eating at the same time, talking at the same time. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, no, no, no. We just keep wondering, who is this guy? What else do I normally get on that sandwich? So smoked cheese? Yeah, smoked cheese. Okay. Head cheese. Don't forget the head cheese. Head cheese. You it's almost forgot. That yeah. was your second favorite after blood, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I was thinking you'd call this the David Leave a Heart Sandwich since I come in here all the oh, time. Oh, that's an excellent idea, David. This is exactly David Leave a Heart Sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Ta-da, the David Leave a Heart Sandwich. And I expect you to see you soon next time, all right? We'll see you again, Dr. Shane. See you here. Can I get a free German magazine or? Oh yeah, of course. You know, I put ads in here to meet girls, a German girlfriend, but nobody ever responded. <laughs> Getting a sandwich named after me was a honor, but it was bittersweet because German food reminds me of one very special lady. I received a phone call from a police officer telling me that my mama had died. Oh God, it makes me wanna cry. She taught me right from wrong. She taught me how to go on. She taught me that care to people who think and then. She knew how to be a true friend to everyone. And she knew how to smile through her tears. And she never drank beer. I don't think it's fair that my mama died. It makes me want to cry. Oh, God, it makes me want to cry. I gotta go on and be strong. I gotta go on. I gotta call that my mama had died. The last past the Texas police officer called me telling me that my mama had died. Blessed are they that mourn, but they shall be comforted.
I pray that Cartoon Network will give David Liebehart seven seasons on Cartoon Network and on the internet. And that David will get paid well through ASCAP as a songwriter. He deserves it. It's important for the people to know about their heritage because you got to be proud of what you are and what you come from. Like me, for instance, I used to be a Siamese cat. And then, because of copyright reasons, I was reborn into a tiger. Like they say, cats have nine lives. I had two lives. I got the meow in me and the row in me. Amen to end. Say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. Come back next week. Finally, I'm probably one of the rare Germans and as far German and Irish, it's not an alcoholic. I, I, I get drunk, drunk. Absolutely. <laughs>